Say what? Man, just when I thought I couldn't love Dave Grohl anymore, he goes and covers the Bee Gees, which uh, just in recent years, and if you watch his channel, you know, is now one of my favorite bands of all time. And apparently, is Dave Grohl's now as well. Uh, rumor has it that he watched the How Can You Mend a Broken Heart documentary a few years ago, fell in love with the Bee Gees, and for Record Store Day 2021, uh, just a few weeks ago, <laughs> they created this alternate band called the DGs, DG for Dave Grohl, you get it? Uh, and they covered five Bee Gees songs on side A, and then side B is five Foo Fighter songs that were recorded live from the Medicine to Midnight album, which apparently was kind of inspired by the Bee Gees. Grohl wanted to make kind of like a dance rock album, which I don't know that he really succeeded at that, but I gotta say, I'm loving these Bee Gees covers, man. And I wasn't really expecting, even though I know what a great singer Grohl is, I wasn't expecting him to be able to hit those high falsetto notes uh, but he does it almost perfectly. Like, uh, and you know, as much as they're having fun with this, they're taking pictures dressed up as the Bee Gees, drinking champagne and stuff. And you know, Foo Fighters have always been kind of goofy. Their videos are funny, and you can just tell they always have a great sense of humor. Dave Grohl, if I had to say, like an artist that I would just love to hang out and have a beer and talk with for hours, it would be him. But um, they really pay homage to these songs and without the, the kind of goofiness, like even the video that they released of them performing, You Should Be Dancing, is, you know, they're putting their heart out there and really giving it their all and uh, they totally nail it. So. I love it. Uh, they they cover You Should Be Dancing is the first song on the record. Then uh, they also do Night Fever, Tragedy, which is another one of my favorite Bee Gees tunes. They really nail that one, especially the electric guitar parts, uh, perfectly done. Um, Shadow Dancing, which is not a Bee Gees uh, song, it's, it's one of the Gibb brothers, and then More Than a Woman, that rounds out side A, which More Than a Woman, of course, another classic. Um, I would have loved if they just went full Bee Gees and did 10 Bee Gees songs. Um, I think the second half of the album the stuff from the Foo Fighters is uh, certainly not as strong as the Bee Gees catalog anyway, but, um, you know, Medicine of Midnight wasn't one of their greatest albums. I get what they're doing, but um, again, I, I would love just more, more Bee Gees, guys. So uh, if you're listening, Dave, just do more of that. And if the Foo Fighters who sell out arenas ever for some reason are down on their luck, you can be a Bee Gees cover band. Uh, I give my thumbs up to it. I mean, come on, man. Bee Gees, one of the best teeth out bands of all time. Like you want to groove, dance along and go, mm, yeah. And now I can honestly say, add the DGs to your list as well. So check it out. Uh, in the description below, I'm putting a Spotify link to the DGs record. If you haven't listened to it yet, please do. It's a lot of fun and honestly, uh, nearly as good as the originals. So uh, thank you, Dave Grohl and Foo Fighters for continuing to just uh, do great things in music. Uh, you guys can do anything and Thank you guys for watching. Let me know uh, what you think of the DGs in the comments below. And guys, we got top fives every Friday, top 100s, album reviews, so much more. Thank you for watching. And as always, Viva La Vinyl. So guys, thanks so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and be sure to ring the bell for notifications so you can always see great quality content like you're seeing on the screen right now. Thank you so much for supporting Johnny Radio, and I'll see you soon.